You know, Saint, you got a cab, you got a free room, and someone who will listen to your boring stories. I mean, didn't you notice on the plane when you started talking, eventually I started reading the vomit bag? I mean, didn't that give you some sort of clue like, hey, maybe this guy's not enjoying it? And you know, everything's not an anecdote. You need to discriminate. You need to choose things that are, that are funny or, or, or mildly amusing. But you're a miracle. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Honey, I'd like you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. And by the way, here's a gun so you can blow out your brains. You'll thank me. You know, you know, I can tolerate any insurance seminar. I could sit there for days listening to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. And they'd say, how can you stand it? And I'd say, because I've been with Del Griffith. I can take anything. You know what they'd say? They'd say, the shower curtain ring guy. I know what you mean. Whew. It's like, it's like going on a date with a chatty Kathy doll. I expect you might have a little string coming out of your chest that I pull and watch it snap back. Only I don't pull and watch it snap back. You do. Ah, ga, ga, ga. You know, here's a good idea. When you're telling one of your stories, try having a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. <laughs>